The reviews are in for AMD's first Ryzen mobile-powered mid-range laptop, set to go against Intel's mobile CPUs. But how well does it fare in games? Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. The first device equipped with Ryzen Mobile is out, and the reviews are in. The HP Envy X360 15Z comes with Ryzen Mobile's mid-range APU, the Ryzen 5 2500U. If you want to learn more about the specs of AMD's mobile chips designed for lower power, slim notebooks, check out my video on it here. Today's video concerns the gaming performance of the 2500U, specifically that of the Vega 8 GPU it's equipped with. Now, I won't be going over everything, so make sure to check out the great write-ups done at the sources in the description. One thing to remember as well is that there's a lot to a notebook's power besides the processors they're equipped with. Even with the same chips, one can run fairly faster with better heat dissipation than the other. Basically, this isn't the best sample size to determine its overall power, but it's at least good enough for now considering it's all we've got. When it comes to CPU performance, Ryzen Mobile's Zen architecture has the same caveats as their desktop counterpart. Single-threaded performance isn't the best, but the difference seems to be very little with multi-core performance pretty comparable to Intel's i5. Basically, content creators and professionals will want to watch their preferred app to see which CPU it favors in performance. Of course, professional applications isn't what you're here for. Let's talk gaming. First though, keep in mind that this is Vega 8, with only 8 compute cores instead of the 10 that comes in the Ryzen 7 2700U and the upcoming 11 that I discussed in a recent video, but may or may not be coming to notebooks. Either way, the results are definitely impressive for an integrated chip. You can see it crushes Intel's UHD 620 in both 3D Mark Cloud Gate and Skydiver. Not only that, but Vega's 8 compute units handily beats Nvidia's older discrete 940MX, but it also loses by a large margin to NVIDIA's discrete Pascal MX150. Of course, these are just synthetic benchmarks. When we move over to the real world performance, well, these numbers ring true, with the Ryzen mobile chip stomping all over Intel's integrated best while losing to the discrete MX150. Now, with that said, there is one thing that, while I really can't make any conclusions until it's tested more, it's at least good to note. Hot Hardware found that the Ryzen laptop can draw a good amount of power with peaks as high as 30 watts compared to Intel's 16 watts when running an HD video. This seemed to put it in more of the middle to low road with respect to battery life. With that in mind, it could be something as simple as a driver update. We really can't be sure. So what does all this mean? Well, AMD clearly has a great chip here, with productivity benchmarks putting it similar to Intel's newest i5-8250U, with the i5 honestly doing very well in some places, but AMD's GPU performance is leagues ahead of Intel's integrated solution. With that said, what gamers should get mostly comes down to price. If you're able to get an MX150 pack notebook at a similar price, go for it. But when comparing AMD's solution to Intel's GPU, AMD wins every time, so long as there isn't a major power draw issue or you don't really care about battery life. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the first Ryzen mobile powered notebook? Let me know down in the comments below, and hardware and gaming enthusiasts, definitely don't forget to check out the GamerML Discord server, that link's in the description. That does it for now, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.